Hey everyone. Hi everyone. So at the beginning of the month, we decided that we were going to do vlogs again and we kind of wanted to take you behind the scenes of the Peak family. And so with that being said, January has been a long month and we have quite a few updates for you. Yeah, definitely. As you know, we had talked about the goals at the beginning of the year that we were really working towards specifically financially. And we really set out the first part of the month pushing pretty hard to gain some new clients and all of that happened. And we'll talk about a little bit more of that later. We realized the biggest thing is saving and where our money was going and that we Obviously, having extra money would be nice, but we really could spend less money too. One of the things that happened at the beginning of the month is I lost a pretty big contract. And this kind of started this journey for us of saying, okay, so we're sad, we're frustrated, we're unsure what to do, but you can't stay there forever. And so one of the things that we decided to do is we decided, hey, we need to not only make up that income, but we also need to start saving money. One of the biggest cutbacks that we made is just in the form of our food budget. We brought down our grocery budget a little bit, and then we decided that we were also not going to eat out at all during the month. And we did eat out a couple times, but we're kind of all or nothing people. So we had to go to the extreme of being like, no, we're not doing it. And then we allowed for a few instances when Gerald picked up new projects, or just as an award for the kids to do that. And it was hard for us, but it was pretty hard for them because they're used to a lot of extra things. And actually we are too. So this is the crazy part about saving. It sounds so elementary. It sounds like, of course, if you don't spend money, you're gonna have money. But through our lives, we haven't traditionally been very good with money. I don't know if you guys can relate, but typically when we have money, we like to spend it on things such as food, on, on items and material things, you get to a point with all of those things that if you don't have them, you feel like something's missing in your life. And really, it is this comfort, you know, where food is a comfort and material things can be a comfort. And what we realized is, is when we had to cut back this month because we were missing so much income, we realized that A, we didn't die, but B, <laughs> We actually had a really good month doing alternative things with our kids. And so, Joe, what were some of the things that we did in place of being in front of the Xbox or the TV? Uh, what were some of those things that, that you guys did uh, together? We did a lot of reading this month. Our kids have always read but we started reading the Harry Potter. I think we talked about that the last time and so we finished the month reading the book three prisoner of Azkaban and now we're more than halfway through the goblet of fire and so we've really enjoyed doing that together and just spending more time outside in general going to the park and riding their bikes just you know kid things not only were we saving to replace that income but we were also going to try and get new clients so at the beginning of the month I had went out and made a list of clients of really clients everywhere and then narrowed them down and prioritized them by people we thought would work well with us and Gerald just kind of wanted to update you on the results of that. So it's been a really great month. Yeah. We actually have been able to bring in about $1,500. And, and we were able to put all of it into savings. We actually expected to deplete our entire savings. At the very least, I was hoping that we didn't spend more than our savings and we actually not only didn't have to dip into our savings this month, right. we were actually able to add to it. So one of the really cool parts about working together is Josie brings a unique perspective when it comes to marketing and highlighting people's businesses. And so we're working hand in hand, writing post descriptions, and she's looking at videos and telling me about what she thinks about them. And so the cool part is, is when a business signs up and says, hey, you know, I want you to bring more visibility to the community about what we're doing and what our business is about. It's really kind of like this package deal where we're able to provide both a male perspective and a female perspective, but then also how we feel like the end product will relate to different audience of people. It's something that I've had a lot of experience in just different businesses that I've worked in and trainings that I've had. And 
really finding each business's niche and really highlighting those specific things and being able to help draw with that has been really good. So if you're a business in the Atascocita area and you could use help with social media marketing and help with your website, if this looks like something that could be beneficial to you, we would love to be able to offer these services to you. The first business that we partnered with in January is Loganitis Training. If you have not found a gym that you feel comfortable in and you're really looking for something different, you're looking for something that's community-based and that's faith-focused, and something that's going to encourage you and motivate you to, to get in shape and to lose some pounds, man, Loganized Training is an incredible place. And so here's just a little bit of footage of some of the things that we've done over the last couple weeks. You also had an opportunity this month to do some family photos. The Lunu's photos came out so great. It was amazing to see just all the generations of their family come together and take those. So if you're in this area and you need family photos or know someone that does, we can definitely help you with that. Also another project and a really ongoing continual mm -hmm. project that I work with is with Quinn and with the Renew You conference coming up in March. Yeah. And so we shot a bunch of promo stuff uh, this month. And so here's some footage of that so you can kind of check that out. So if you're a lady and you have not bought your ticket to the Renew You conference, go and buy your ticket. There'll be links down in the description so that you can go do that. It is phenomenal. You will have an amazing time. Yeah, I went to the first one and it was an incredible experience and it's really something you don't want to miss. And I think they're two thirds sold now. So you're going to want to go grab a ticket soon, sooner than later, for sure. So in February, I have a few more projects coming up. I'm going to continue my relationship with Loganized Training. I'm super pumped about that. They are doing some incredible things. And so I'm just going to be kind of capturing their journey as a small business. Then on Valentine's Day weekend, you have a wedding that you're going to be photographing. Yep, and so super excited about that. And then I think the last thing is, we still have to nail down the dates on this, but I'm gonna be shooting the grand reopening of a local business that yeah. is, that's really awesome. And so there'll definitely be more details about that soon. So the kids are on break next week. And so we also want to give you an update about our family. Yeah, this month is kind of gonna be a busy month for us. Moses is turning 11, which is crazy. <laughs> Emery is going on her big field trip for school in fourth grade they go to Austin so she'll be doing that and then soccer season is kicking back up so we're gonna be getting really busy with those things we don't have any really big plans for this this upcoming week but we're gonna probably just spend it hanging out the kids will get internet back on the first and so we're gonna really have to make sure that they don't use it all up in the first week and then they have to do <laughs> this thing again where you know by the end of the month you know like they go days without it but yeah, yeah anyways so the crazy thing about running a small business is you always have to be on the grind yeah. uh, looking for new clients taking on new projects and so we've got some things on the horizon, but really we're just continuing to look for new people that we can partner with. And I think the one thing that I'm really passionate about is helping people. And so if you have this amazing product that you want to offer people, but you feel like not enough people know about it, then that's where I get to come alongside you and really just kind of help tell your story uh, to the community. And so more people know that you were able to provide this amazing service to them. So we're just gonna go back to the drawing board, hit up some more of the people on the list that we've created and kind of just work through that and also just keep our eyes out for new opportunities. So hey guys, thank you guys so much for joining us today on our vlog. This is more of an update day and the vlogs, you know, kind of going forward, we'll have more footage of other things, but we just kind of wanted to let you know where we're at in our progress to our overall goal of making additional income this year. Thank you all.